the state of Qatar has invested around about six billion dollars. Every investment had to have a story beyond it and had to have a multiplier effect, whether it's within the economy or for use beyond the World Cup. The challenges that we face with the pandemic, first to ensure that it's a healthy and safe environment for the world to travel. Second, more importantly, is also to ensure that it is an accessible and affordable tournament. And uh, third, it's to ensure that we learn how to deliver on both these two elements. Our commitment to sustainability has been demonstrated throughout the years. So uh, stadiums that don't have a use beyond the tournament uh, would be reduced. So we've got modular seats uh, in a significant portion of our stadiums. These modular seats will be taken down reconfigured into smaller size stadiums and will be donated to football developing nations. And of course, uh, we've subscribed to GSAS, which is a building standard code that uh, commits to the high standards of sustainability as well. Apart from, of course, our commitment with the state in terms of changing people's behaviors or influencing people's behaviors in terms of sustainability, whether it's in terms of the preservation of water use uh, or electricity or otherwise. In winning the Asian Games 2030, uh, I think it demonstrates the importance that the state of Qatar holds sports. Our sports events are not just glory projects, rather they are accelerators, platforms for positive transformation, uh, contributors to the economy. They are uh, vehicles that pushes the country's momentum in terms of development. My measure of success about the World Cup, it's always looking beyond 2022 in the future. When people can remember Qatar in a very fond way, I would love nothing more than this World Cup to literally touch every Arab and Middle Eastern and be able to say that this is contributing in a positive way to the future.